All right, we are at the Arthur Hill Diplomats located in Saginaw, Michigan, and we're constructing for our project an educational reflection garden. Um, we broke down our project into phases because this is a four-year process for our project to be complete. But we started off with phase one of our project, which was around the 2008 period. We, we constructed a, a cohort group, and then we started brainstorming ideas of what we wanted our project to be. And we wanted something that could not only help benefit our school, but also our community. So we came up with the idea of making a green garden. And when I say green, I meant like going green concepts like recycling, water recycling, um, solar paneling, all green concepts. So we came up with that idea our first year, then in our t until our next year, we went on and started getting more into the project. That's where we start getting more hands-on. And if you, if you look down here, this is what, these are what pictures of what our, our area looked like. We were given a quarter of an acre land by our school. These are what the areas looked like. They were in horrible conditions, shrubbery, trees everywhere, dead trees, asphalt, and we pulled all those trees up. We were able to grind them. Keep in mind, we're going green. We grinded those up and we recycled those to use as mulch and fertilizers, which will be used on our plants. Um, and the asphalt, we actually ripped that up and that was used to build driveways. Um, we're right now in phase three of our project and this year that's that's phase three this year 2010 to 2011 what we did this year we started building and constructing our garden after removing all the rubbish um well, we started off by um laying concrete we laid 25 yards of concrete and um as you can see uh these are the pods and this is actually an uh, up-to-date design of what it looks like now um, the black part is actually the school and where, it looks, where the school is located. Um, these are the pods that, w that we're, we will be growing in. This represents the fountain that, that looks at it right here that was donated from a, a resident in Saginaw. Um, pretty much um, a lot of people like to ask the difference what's between concrete and uh, cement. And the difference is pretty much concrete is what is being poured and cement is what holds the rock together. Um, uh, um, when we were working with this, um, the concrete was, we learned a lot of tools, like um, we learned about tapping, we saw a backhoe, um, we learned about the ditch witch, which was actually used for uh, electrical purposes. Uh, Not only that, but also our our mathematic skills, they increased because we tried, we had to figure out how to find out the length of width of an area, how to find out the depth of an area, like length times width is how you find the area, length times width times depth is how you find the volume of the area, so we had to learn multiple skills, we um, also learned how to use various tools, like he was saying, the backhoe, sledgehammer, shovels, because we had to get hands on and start building the garden ourselves, we also had help from constructors, but the majority of the work we had to put in ourselves. So it's um like I said, it's a growing project. Four years. So by next year, we'll have our plants in and all these different pods have different plants. And it's we call it the educational reflection garden now because we want it to be able to reflect upon our community by having Michigan grown Michigan grown plants. That way we can attract also Michigan Michigan wildlife and have like maybe panels up explaining the different type of animals, the different type of plants, and it's gonna be all Michigan based. 